Hi artists, today we are going to be drawing three dogs and our three dogs are going to be super fun together when we're all done. You can choose to just draw the faces of your dogs or the bodies as well. And we're going to have one in the center and then we're going to go out from there. So I'm going to start with my center dog so I know that it's right in the center. And all of our dogs start the same. So you're going to look at your paper, this video, and you're also going to choose different breeds. Breeds are different types of dogs. So we're going to all start with the top of the head. Now your top of your head, whichever breed you're choosing, might be more curved, straight, it might be more bumpy. So you look at the breed you are drawing and draw that top of the head. Same thing with the ears. All dogs have sort of different shaped ears depending on their breed. So I am drawing the Samoya dog because I actually have an American Eskimo at home, which is kind of the same. So my ears are going to come up, but your ears might be different. And then I'm going to draw the side of my face. Sometimes it comes more downward. Sometimes it's hairy. Sometimes it's smooth. You draw the side of your face. I'm also going to add a nice nose in there. Our dog wants to smell all the treats. So we're going to add sort of on a curved upside down triangle for the nose. And we can color that in later. I'm also going to add two little ovals for eyes. And a great way to show expression, like surprised or happy, is to draw some eyebrows. Now I get to add my mouth. So my dog is super happy. He's going to have a big smile. And I'm going to add an open mouth this time. You could add an open mouth or a tongue. I'm going to add a tongue inside. All right, I'm also going to add some hair in my ears. You might have some details on your breed. Sometimes you might have a line like this. Maybe it'll just be plain, but my dog is, has super long hair, so his are kind of hairy inside. And I'm also gonna add some extra hair down here. All right, sometimes we can add a little line here above the nose. That kind of shows that the nose is coming forward. Now I could leave my dog like this, just the top of the head, and I could draw another dog here, another dog here, or you can add the body. So a great way to draw a body for a dog facing forward is to start super light lines in case I need to erase, but I'm going to start with the number 111. So one, 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 that's three tally marks. And now I'm going to add two little rainbows. My little rainbows are going to be his feet, his front paws. And I'm going to close those rainbows at the bottom. Now they kind of look like two rocks. I'm also going to add some toes with little tally marks. And now I'm going to do my side legs. So my side legs are kind of going to come from the side here. You could bring your body, the side of your body down a little bit more. And we're going to start with a candy cane. Can you picture candy cane in your head? Our candy cane is kind of sideways, and this one's going to be another candy cane facing the other way. Those are his little back legs, and now he needs some back paws. So we're going to draw a sideways paw. He's going to touch his front foot. Here we go, and we're going to add some little paws over here. And the very last thing, how do dogs show that they're happy? They wag that tail, don't they? So all breeds might have a different type of tail. So this type has a big fluffy tail, it's super hairy and it kind of curls at the top. So that's my first dog. You could add things in the background. Maybe he has a bone over here. Maybe you want to draw a toy. Maybe there's something in the background, like a heart. Maybe he's thinking about something. What's he thinking about? Hmm. Maybe he's thinking about, ooh, he really wants that bacon that you're eating for breakfast. He is dreaming about a piece of bacon. 
And then over here in the side, I could draw two other dogs. Now your dogs could be facing forward or make it a little fun. You could have your dogs peeking from the side. So maybe over here, I'm gonna just quickly draw another breed. This one is called a lab, a yellow lab or a chocolate lab. And I'm looking at the guide as I draw. That's what you are gonna do, friends, so that you can kind of follow along. Remember, you can do any breed that you like. Oh, also, this one reminds me, if you want to add a collar to your dog, you can add a collar. And you can add some designs to that collar. Now it looks like my little dog is peeking. He kind of looks like he's about to steal his little toy, doesn't he? All right. Once you finish your dogs, add as many as you want. You could even add other animals. Maybe there's a cat peeking over here. Um, you're finally going to add color and then post your picture to Artsonia or her, however your, your teacher is collecting your work.